All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. <clears throat> and Shalom Wam taught Aki out there preaching his word, truth and sincerity. So we just coming together to do this lesson on, you know, how a lot of guys basically they they're uh they're in a contrary spirit, you know, basically to to compare it to how you're a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is supposed to be. And you've been seeing uh the primary example being the ones that the apostles have been going into, you know. Along, along with all these other groups, uh, different Israelites out here, you know, it's always a new guy that want to be the face of attention, so to speak. All right. Yet, you know, we, Lord's will, this lesson be edifying. We're going to just jump straight in and get um, get into the scriptures. So the first scripture we're going to get is First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall, sh shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And that's how you know that um, that we're in the latter times, you know, in the last days, because you're seeing this happen more and more, you know, and you're going to continue to see it until this place is destroyed. You're going to see more and more people pop up, like the guys that are relevant right now at this point, you know, they're, they, um, they're giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, you know, because at one point they they um you know the apostles even went into it in their videos and sit downs they didn't did how they'll be on the combo board bigging bigging the apostles up agreeing with them at one point then the next then they're saying that GMS uh is a, a poison we got the poison doctrine or whatever saying that we're we're off and we don't got it and they do all right no that's uh that's just them coming with those seducing spirits you know and doctrines of devils. Those seducing spirits that they have on them, they're trying to seduce more people to them to watch them, because mm -hmm. that's why they they put a GMS in there in um in the title in the video, because people are going to be more inclined to watch it just because it's about it's a surrounding controversy, and it's a, about controversy regarding us in particular as far as GM um GMS Great Millstone, and everybody wants to see what somebody has to say that's negative pertaining to us, because they want to see. If they could find something to prove us wrong on, and they can't, you know, at the end of the day. And that's why you just have more and more bug outs just always popping up. You know, you want me to continue uh, on? Yeah, verse 2. Yeah. Um, verse 2, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. Yeah, because there's only uh, one truth, all right? And um, we have it over here at Great Millstone from our apostle elders on down. We have 100% truth. Okay? So anything uh, uh, besides that is profane outside of the temple. And is what? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, false, it's falsehood and, um, and it's lies. Okay? So it says speaking lies and hypocrisies. And that's what, um, that's what these guys are doing. You know, uh... The, the latest um, examples, mm -hmm. I believe a couple of the guys who split from the, um, the Baltimore camp, you know, the Great Millstone Baltimore camp, all right, they're, they're doing their, they, uh, they, you know, they're doing their own thing, all right, going, uh, totally, totally going off, totally disorderly, all right, and, and, um, like the brothers were referring to, pressing out those seducing spirits that they cleave unto, that they took heed unto, they're, they're pressing that out onto the um to the body of Israel, okay, and we're we're set up as the uh, defenders of the gospel, okay, and we're set up as um as watchmen of the nation of Israel, okay. For a matter of fact, I have this. I have this on that. This is uh, Romans sixteen and seventeen. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, "Now I beseech you, brethren." Mark them which cause divisions. And no. that's, oh, go ahead. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Yeah, and that's what you see in the apostles and other brothers doing. Yep. You know, they're marking them. And the way that they're marking them is by putting the scope on them, you know, putting them in the spotlight, so to speak, since that's what you want, you know. Now you're being put in the spotlight. You know, the apostles and other brothers are letting it be known. 
these guys ain't right, you know? Mm -hmm. These dudes are off. Yep. And they're going into it while you're off and linking it up in the scriptures because you're scripturally, according to, you know, according to the scripture, you're off. Mm -hmm. You're not teaching the right doctrine. And then you're coming up against against uh, brothers in GMS and, and it's, not, it's not anything that related to the doctrine because we're not going off as far as the doctrine is concerned. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're causing a uh, division. Here it is. The most uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is causing the body to come together. It says, uh, let us not forsake the gathering of ourselves together. Mm -hmm. We're all gathering together through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with what? The same mind, the same understanding, the same agreement. Mm -hmm. But they're, uh, what these guys are doing in other pseudo Israelite uh, uh, camps, they're bringing divisions, they're bringing schisms in the body. Okay? They're bringing uh, uh, contrary doctrines, uh, uh, ultimately the doctrines uh, of Satan. Okay? And as, and as watchmen and defenders of the go uh, gospel, we are to mark, mark uh, guys like, like that. All right, let um let the um let the, uh, the flock know. Hey, look out for these guys. They're not right, man. Yeah. They're false prophets, okay, and they're they're looking for followers to follow them to uh into that pit of damnation that they've dug for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know. And that's how it always is. You know, whenever dudes um dudes that ain't right, really, mm -hmm. you know, they always want to heap more people onto themselves. Yep. Because that's what it's all about for them. They're uh they're they're doing it for, they're doing it out of um vain glory, you mm -hmm. know. It's not about it's not like about um preaching the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity and sincerely edifying the body. No, they're just trying to be out there, just for um to be to be the head guy so to speak. All right, you want to be the the uh the, the guy to get all the shine. You say like everybody look at you like oh you're the highest level dude, deepest person this and that. That's just what it all comes down to at the end of the day, you know. Like I have said, because it's concerning as far as the doctrine is concerned, we not going off. You know, we we have like the apostles and on down always say we got the hundred percent truth, mm -hmm. all right. And that's what really makes all these other dudes mad, and because then they'll be at one point all these, all these uh these uh different you know people that be teaching these wayward things, at one point. They were they were in agreement with our doctrine, you know, not with even our doctrine, with with the doctrine. All right, because this is the truth. Yep. Yeah. I'll continue on verse um, verse eighteen. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, mm -hmm. but their own belly. Yeah, and that's what it is. You're serving your own belly. You're not serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, when they're on camera and all that, or they're trying to portray like they are. But their intent, their true intention, is them serving their own selves, because this isn't this isn't doing any any um this isn't for edifying the body or nothing. Like I said, you're not you're not um you're not doing it for that reason. You're doing it for vain you know for yourself to fill your own belly. Yeah, because it's it's totally disorderly. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys just 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 going off the deep end. All right, chopping on camera, saying what you want to say, hopping on pages. Talking to the apostles, the elders, how, how, just, just like they're any old, uh, any old uh, uh, person, uh, uh, any old nigga in the street, okay, you know, just being, being just evil, you know, yep. and that's not how is that edifying to the body? How is that going to build, build up a, 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 a potential a, a, a member of the elect, mm -hmm. a man, a man of the Lord? He's gonna, if anything, he's gonna be confused, okay. Damn, what's what, what's going on? All right. It says, uh, "For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, but their own belly." That's right, because really, you guys, you guys want the, um, you guys want the following. All right. You you want you want the eyes to be on you. You want the men to be behind you. Okay. And this is not about a, a numbers game, man. Hey, man, this is about the truth being the truth. Yep. Okay, and the truth being um um the truth being uh, uh um what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty much the uh, the truth resting upon a, a group of men, okay, 
and that and that group of men are the men of Great Millstone from the Apostle and the Elders. Mm -hmm. And these guys notice that these demons, all right, these clowns, everybody who's who, who come up against a, a Great Millstone because it's just a title, yet it's it's uh, 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 it's the um, the spirit that that we um, that we hold, which is yeah. what the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of testimony and prophecy, man. All right, you know the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. At, so it says, um, so they see that and then and, and they hate that really because why they hate Yahweh Shai. Yep. You know, it's bigger than us, it's bigger than the apostles, it's bigger than the brothers in Baltimore. You know, it's really about uh, two thirds hating uh, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and hating the men of Yahweh Shai, okay, for having the spirit of Yahweh Shai on them. It says, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. They use those good words and fair speeches to deceive the, the masses of our people. Yep. All right. Whenever they come up against us or just teach anything that's madness in general, they use good words and fair speeches so that people are more inclined to listen to them. Yep. Because that's what our people like. They like hearing, like it says in um in Isaiah, I believe, uh, speak unto us smooth words, yep. Yep. Uh, you know, tell us lies, basically, mm -hmm. tell us deceits. And that's what they like. That's why people like to hear. And and these dudes that ain't right, they know that, and they capitalize off of that by them going out there on the streets and actually doing this, doing stuff like what you see them doing, you know. And like I said, these guys are just a a, a, a example for pretty a current example, because mm -hmm. there's been a lot of different guys out there that do that throughout the throughout you know since forever. Yeah. It's always guys popping up like that. Yeah, and it's in 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 you know what. It's been guys like you going back going back uh, 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 a thousand years ago, man. Mm -hmm. Going back to the time when Yahweh Shah was on the scene. Going back to the time when uh, uh, the, the disciples, the apostle, apostle Paul, it was written about guys like you, which goes to show that you guys are the same ones that were back then, back here today, fulfilling the same, your same lot, okay? As false prophets, as ultimately of haters of the Lord. I have, I have this, unless you had a precept. Okay. All right. I, well, I have okay. something real quick. Yep. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that have been, it, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. So, like you were just going into, this this isn't, this been happening since, you know, all our, um, our forefathers that have been prophets, when they was bringing out the word, the same things was going on back then. All right, like it was going into an axe. If this work be of men, it will come to naught at the end of the day, ultimately. And how long have have uh, you seen the men, men of Great Millstone out there on the highways and byways that's been continuing to endure from the apostles on down? So if this work was of men, you know, it would come to naught, like the scriptures say. Yet it's not of men because it's of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We ain't out here doing our own thing and just, just you know, just winging it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now, we out here trying to do things sincerely and in order how they're supposed to be done edifying the body and actually glorifying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that's right that's right yeah um I had uh one quick uh precept just backing up what you what you just brought out yep right here this is um Sirach chapter 33 um yeah cause that's the way that the Lord set things up you know the Lord set up the prophets, the false prophets, all right, righteous, the wicked, okay, the good versus the evil. So these guys were set up because that's that's a part, that's the conditions of the battle, you know, all right, opposition. Um, this is Sirach uh, 33, and um, I just had it, Sirach, yeah. Uh, bear with me, I just, I just lost my clip. Uh, Sirach 33 and 14 it says good is set against evil and life against death so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly yep, and that's all this is you know good being set against the evil yeah because it always has to be that um that opposing force because mm -hmm. we you know we 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 know that we're out there doing the right thing yet it has to be other guys out there doing the wrong thing you know, that's just part of the balance. You know, like it says, good is set against evil. Yep. The works that we're doing is good works, and the works they're doing are actually evil works. Now, they might not look at it as such, yet 
they they're they don't know you know what's going on basically mm -hmm. all right because if they did they wouldn't be doing what they're doing because right. it's not like i keep saying it's not they're not getting on on um great millstone about the doctrine they're just getting on great millstone just out of just pretty much for no reason yep. and whatever their vain <clears throat> reason may be for them specifically all right of their their own personal yeah uh, personal emotions game. or issues yep you know nothing pertaining to uh to doctrine the truth the truth thereof man All yeah right. yeah because our um even with you know our apostles on down they be they'll actually you know say when the brothers out there with the, huh. even if they're not part of great millstone if you out there teaching them the word the right way then they don't have nothing to say against you mm -hmm. the only time they get on people is if you're actually going off on the doctrine. They don't get on people just because it's how they feel, or like or something that's um, personal, so to speak. Mm -hmm. No, anytime they get on anybody, it's because it's all about the doctrine, man. Yep. All right, that's what it matters. Because if you're out there teaching the wrong thing, we have to say something about it. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna just sit here watch you teaching all manners of evil and saying bugged out stuff, just letting it slide. No, man, we have to we have to um, say something about that. Let it be known. This ain't the right way, man. Yeah. All right, because who else gonna do it? You got all these other group Israelite groups out there trying to say we could all come together and just teach together when everybody teaching different things. And when this, that's nothing but straight confusion. We have to all come together in, in agreement or not come together at all. And then if we not coming together, we letting it be known that what is right and what's not right, man. Because then people are gonna be confused. They see you saying one thing and then they come back and look at us and we saying another thing. They ain't gonna know who got it right. All right, unless the spirit's dealing with you to discern that. Yeah, it says uh, good is set against um, evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Mm -hmm. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Yep, yeah, and that's what it is, one against another. All right, because right, that's just a part of the battle. All right, while we out there doing this, doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to have other dudes out there trying to say that they're doing, doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Just like it says in Matthew, where, um, where it says, Lord, Lord, have we not um, prophesied in thy name? All right, these are, all these other false prophets out here, they think that they're doing the right thing. They think they're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're going we're gonna to see when that time comes, you know, whether the Lord is really dealing with you or not. All right. Cause like the uh, the apostle Gabar was saying in his video, we're not um, we're sure about what we're doing, man. We're not we don't we don't um, we're not guessing about it. We're not doubting. You know we're sure about what we're doing. All right, when we 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 um, firmly believe in what we've been taught, like the scriptures say, you know, sticking to the things that we've been taught, not quoting the verbatim, and that's what we've been doing. And a lot of guys they don't do that. Why? Because they they gave heed to those seducing spirits. At one point, they was they was um sticking to what they were taught, but then those seducing spirits came in, and what happens? They they start switching their doctrine up, and you see it all the time. You, with dudes who fall out, they just wax worse and worse. First, they'll be they'll um they'll take away saying that all the tribes are black, or whatever you know madness they want to start spewing out, and that just as time goes on and on. You just start seeing them wax worse and worse, and that's because those seducing spirits are just seducing mm -hmm. them more and more, and they just continue to give heed. Yep. Um, yeah, I got this right here. It's on um, Second Peter chapter two, verse nine. It says, "The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the the unjust." Unto the day of judgment to be punished. Yep, and that's all it is for these guys that do um, that are going to be making it to the end. Mm -hmm. All right, they thinking they'll in their mind they'll look at it like the Lord is dealing with them just because they they're still alive or they're they're getting through whatever they're getting through. When in the actuality, <clears throat> Yah Bashim Yah Shai is just reserving you until the day of judgment. All right, to be punished. And that just that shows you how much anger that he has towards you to to help you make it through the famine, to make it through the race wars and everything else, to reserve you the missiles, or just to like you know that would be that's like the worst way to go out to make it through everything and then at the end when the missiles come in, the Lord just allow you to be taken out by the missiles. He reserved you just for that special judgment. 
And that's why he, he can actually do that to you, man. All right. Yet these dudes, they don't they don't consider that. They don't know that. All right. Yeah, we do, man. All right. These dudes that's that's out here um, pre preaching wayward doctrines and all. Hey, the Lord has something that's playing special for you at the end of the day, man. Verse 10, it says, But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Yeah, that's what these that's what it'd be about with well, most of these dudes. They despise government. Yep. They despise order. You don't want to be under somebody. That's that's what really makes you mad or irks you. Or right, you so emotional, you I'm not a follower of man, this and that. What the scriptures tell you plainly and is lined out. How it says to be ye followers of me as I am a follower of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And it tells you how that you how how else would you learn this except for somebody taught you? So what are you talking about um not being a follower of man? You have to follow somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to know um how to break it down to you. So who who broke who broke it down to you? You know, the Lord didn't just come and just break everything down to you itself. Yeah, that's a part of the order. There's always a leader that, that the Most High sets up. Okay? You know? And there were instances where there were guys just like just like today that had a, a problem with the order that the Most High set up. And and, and, and what what happened all the time. Hey man, judgment before before them guys, man. You know? They never they never last, man. Okay, and there's there's uh, nothing different with these guys, with the guys after them. Hey, man, even the guys before them, okay? What these dudes are doing is nothing new, and it's, it's not monumental, all right? It's not going to last, and it's not going to uh, it's not gonna get, it's not going to take them that far, man. It's damn sure not going to get them delivered, you know? It says, um, presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. Yeah, they self-willed, all right? And that's what it all comes back to. You want to do your own thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you you hate the government, you despise government, all right? And you're presumptuous and self-willed. You want to do your own thing, and you don't want to be under somebody else. Mm -hmm. and that's not how this stuff works, man. You can't just come, pop up out of nowhere and just be like, hey, I'm, a, I'm taking over, I'm going to be the leader, this and that. You didn't even put, you haven't even put no work in, man. Yep. You ain't been out there as long as the apostles have been out there, man. Or you ain't been out there as long as the other brothers and you've been out there that's been in the truth for a long period of time. Yet here it is, you want to come out of nowhere and then try to take the lead and say that you got it. Yeah, when the foundation is already laid, the order is already set, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, everything is already readily accessible and, and avail available to you. Mm -hmm. Shit is easier... What the apostles and the elders have have uh, have done, okay, throughout throughout the decades of them uh, laboring, it has made it easier for for the men that come after them, man, yeah. for, for us, man. And yet you have you have knucklehead, ungrateful, unthankful, unholy, like the scriptures talk about, you know, knuckleheaded niggas that has a problem with that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, and that's why that's why the Lord is really just going to start executing swift judgment uh, upon you guys and just making examples out of you, man. You know, for for the for the guys who 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 who, uh, who want to think, who even have a have a thought about about uh, uh, attempting to 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 do the same thing, man. Yeah, I got this right here. This is uh Second Corinthians chapter five. Um, verse 10, you know, cause at the end of the day, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to answer for all your actions, man. Mm -hmm. All the BS that you're, that you're speaking behind closed doors on camera. All right. The angels are recording it, man. Okay. You know, uh, like the scriptures say, um, 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 not quoted verbatim, but by thy words, you should, you should be justified. And by thy words, you shall be condemned, man. And when all you guys are doing is it's uh further uh condemning yourselves. It's yep. uh second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, 
whether it be good or bad. Yes, and that's what it, that's what it is. At the end of the day, you're gonna receive judgment for all the works that you did, man. Mm -hmm. Whether it was good or whether it was bad. Now we want our our good works to outweigh our bad. That's why we we um, we conduct ourselves in a certain manner. Yet these other guys, man, they they have really they have nothing but <clears throat> nothing but bad works. Cause you're not, <clears throat> you ain't teaching the doctrine the right, the correctly, all right. And if you, if you going off on that, then you just got it all wrong, really. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's right. So the scriptures say, with all that wisdom is the principal thing. With all that getting, get understanding. Mm -hmm. You guys haven't been, haven't been uh, uh, getting the understanding. You haven't, you haven't gained the experience that comes along with this knowledge and wisdom. Yep. Okay. Like our apostles and the elders have, man. Cause with that, I mean, you get a further, you get a further uh, appreciation and, and, and a better, deeper uh, understanding of the scriptures because you actually, you're actually uh, uh, been through certain scenarios that you that you read about, mm -hmm. you know, having that experience to be tried out, man. Yeah. And a lot of these dudes who be wanting those leadership roles or positions, you not you don't be right in the spirit. Yeah. You because mean, that's not something that you that should you be aiming be. for or, or wanting to be. That mm -hmm. should be something that you're you're chosen to be or you like you're pushed to be, so to speak. Mm -hmm. All right. When you were looking to the scriptures, when have you ever seen anybody just uh, say like, Hey, I wanna be that guy. I yeah. wanna be the the top dude. I wanna know it all. Well, they just wrapped up the uh Game of Thrones season. Mm -hmm. And and what was uh I don't wanna ruin it for whatever Jake's haven't seen it, but pretty much it, it shows you the people uh, who 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 were set up? They didn't want those. They didn't want the position. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to rule the seven kingdoms. They didn't want to lead. They didn't want to uh, 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 be in that in that rulership uh, seat because they understood the severity of it, man. They're like, nah, nah, nah. I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll just be. I'm playing my little role. You know, that's how the the prophets. You know, yeah. That's the right. That's the right mind. That's the right spirit to be in yeah and that's actually the best person to, to do the exactly. position the because best qualified person. they don't they're not gonna they're not gonna take advantage of any any of the power given unto them because they didn't want to be in that position in the first place mm. and they understand the severity of that position king king solomon what he said to um when the lord visited him um in a dream you know he said lord how do how how do I, how can i uh lead such great of people you know mm -hmm. he asked the lord for for knowledge and wisdom and understanding, so he can be able to do to 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 govern him, the nation of Israel, man. Okay. Yeah, you got you got guys. Oh yeah, you you sitting you sitting you know me in the back, you know with your arms folded, all right, giving them dirty looks. Oh man, it's easy. I can do that. I can command that. I know the breakdowns. Oh man, I can. I'm I, man. I'm a leader. Cause we're all leaders yet. Yet we we're all in, um um there's order, okay, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Just like when Moses said, um, he said said um, do um set up people over groups of tens, okay. captains of hundreds, captains of thousands. Mm -hmm. So it's like like you say, we all leaders, but it's different levels of of you being a leader, and you have to know how to be a to a, a real leader, know how to be a follower. Exactly. Yep. Because it's not all about you always leading. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to how to to fall back and, and let other people lead as well. Mm -hmm. A real leader, right. or he'll he'll allow somebody else to have a spotlight because to him it's not about having a spotlight. It's about the it's about the bigger picture, which is everybody receiving this word and getting this understanding. That's right. And all of us, like the the ones who are meant to receive salvation, receiving salvation. You know, the elect and the one third. That's right. That's right. I'll continue on. Um, verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Mm -hmm. and knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, and that's what makes that's what makes you get right, man. The terror of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of the guys, a lot of guys don't have that terror, and then that's what makes them go off and do what they do. You know, heading into the wrong, heading down the wrong path. Yet the men that that are on the right path, they had that that sincere terror of the Lord, that sincere fear of the Lord, to want to make sure that you you conducting yourself right, you know, always examining yourself, making yeah. sure you staying in the right spirit, not being out of order, being in order, mm -hmm. all right. And for you to be in order, you gotta know how to be under somebody, man. Yep. How do you how do you learn order if you never been been under somebody to be like you know to to know what order is. You just want to come out of nowhere. Don't even. You never even been under nobody else. You never had to listen to anyone else. 
but you want to come lead everybody else. Mm -hmm. You don't even know how anything works. Yet these are the type of our people. They're the they're the main people to always be like that. You can sit here just like you know random bug outs on the comment board. Oh, it was good. That was a nice. Um, y'all was going in on the streets, but you could have did this or you could have did that. Somebody always critiquing them something, but then you don't even know how to how to do it right yourself. Yep. And that's how these dudes be out here, man. They ain't even got it right yet. They trying to um, put that facade out there like they do. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So, man. Um. You know. Them guys and and as the um. The uh, the apostle to heart, uh, um, you know, he did a video and it was very short and to the point, man. Put curses on them guys, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because what they're a ultimately they're um they're enemies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're they're enemies of the, of the gospel, man. Okay, you know. So the Lord is gonna hey man. Ultimately, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is gonna deal with them dudes, man. Yep. All right. Now, hey man, it's it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You know, what we just read about knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? Don't follow them guys, man. Because uh, 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 time will tell, mm -hmm. as time been telling, all right? Yep. You know, hey, hey what's going to happen? We, we, we're going to see the difference, all right? What, what's what's going to happen um, um, to them guys? And what's going to continue to happen for the men of uh, of the Lord? Great millstone from our apostles and elders on down, man. Okay, you know we're going to see who comes to naught. You had some, bro? Bro, uh, no, that was it. Yeah, kind. Of. Well, matter of fact, we can we can bring it out on that. Um, I'll close it on this one. This is um. Yep. This is the book of uh, Acts, chapter um, chapter five, verse thirty-eight. It says, "And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, and let them alone. Mm -hmm. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught." Yeah, refrain from these men and let them alone. That's what, that's basically what you um, you see the apostles doing. You know, they're not sitting there for the debate them and go back and forth with them. No, they they made their videos, you know, going into their different points on them. And they're there. Um, they saying, leave these guys alone. Don't even, you know, don't even deal with these dudes, really. Yeah. Just put up curses on them. Mm -hmm. All right. Because we know that we know that they ain't right, man. This council, that that that, that council, ain't, the council ain't the council of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh mm -hmm. All right. And it's going to come to naught. All right. Now, whether it happens now or later, it doesn't matter. All right, the point being is that, that it's going to happen. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is dealing with um, sincere, humble men that are in order. Mm -hmm. All right? That's right. And, you, and, a man, and somebody that's in the spirit knows somebody else that's in the right spirit, man. Yep. That's right. It says, but if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. Least mm -hmm. happily, ye be found even to fight against the Most High. And that's what it is for for all these other people coming up against us, because this isn't of this council or this work isn't a Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we doing, all right. This is this 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 is all the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. While we're out there on the highways and byways, and while we've been continuing on, all right, because we sincerely want to be delivered out of here. We're not out there trying to just be out there for our own vain glory, feeding, feeding our own belly, all right. No, we just out there sincerely bringing out this word. In order to to edify the body and the true members of the of the elect, all right, and 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 preaching to the destruction of America, man. That's right. Yeah, man. So ultimately, uh, it it um, well, it's, it's too late for them guys, you know. All right, they already put their hands to the plow. All right, they already uh uh, uh blaspheme, you know. Talk talk uh, BS about the apostle, the elders, the men of the Lord. They're pretty. They're they're done. All right, you know. Say so, hey, we're 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 moving we're moving forward, man. It's all about a uh, uh, progression on this side. Okay. Um. So yeah, you know that that's that's all that's all I had. You know, straight okay. to the point.
you know, uh, these guys are there's um these guys are nothing new, all right. They they've um they come in in the same spirit, okay, of rebellion, of bitterness, okay. Really, that that spirit of of anti uh, Hamashiach, you know, they're they're anti uh, Yahweh Shai's, you know, they're haters of the Lord, and the Lord is going to deal with with uh, uh, with guys like that, you know. Um, so yeah, with that, hopefully this le lesson was edifying. We're gonna go ahead and close out once again, giving all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, you know. And um, until the next time, we're gonna say uh, Shalom to the left, you know.